it's Tuesday the 4th of June and we've just had breakfast at Duck Duck Bruce in Fremantle which was amazing. We actually already went there with Alex's family a few days ago. Now we can see Alex because <laughs> my face is not glowing. <laughs> Still is glowing. We went there. What? Pregnant. So my face is glowing. Pergonent. Are you pergonent? So we are on our way to Margaret River. We're not actually 100% sure what we're going to do along the way, what we're going to see, because we plan this very impossibly once I actually already arrived in Perth. Oh my gosh. It's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the sun keeps following me. Come back, cool stuff. <laughs> so I've actually just had a wee chat on Instagram stories asking for some recommendations. So hopefully we'll get some cool things to plan. How's your pie? Good. And Alex got a little apple strudel. And I got this. <laughs> this is compared to the size of my pie. <laughs> this meringue. It's next to the size of my hand. Biggest meringue I've ever had in my life. I'm so excited. It's the world's fastest pastry. Meringue. Six It's a big meringue. That is very delicious. This is our little place. It's like a little open studio. Quite cute. Really nice bathroom. Ooh. Oh, it's cool. This is the best bit though. Oh, we should just sit out here all day. Well, you look great. I am invisible. <laughs> Here he is. Hello. <laughs> So we're off to see a cave, impulsively, on our trip. Nice helmet, huh? Yeah, it looks good. Worn a few helmets. Just <laughs> shut up. There's lots of these trees around here in Western Australia as well. Ooh, sun flare. Nice. That's a bit gorgeous. Oh, I should turn my little light on. How do you do that? Again, I didn't listen. Side. Thanks. In my bikini. <laughs> my and my skin. <laughs> it's actually not that cold. I, I would go under if we brought a towel, but we forgot a towel. <laughs> it's quite cold. It's actually fine down on the beach. <laughs> it's a good look. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. This is not quite as good as last time because. We don't have any snacks. Or burgers. Should have brought burgers. That's a cute angle. <laughs> cute angle of me. <laughs> Turn my foot off so I don't look like I know you look like a such a dork. Nice yeah, it's nice. It's, it's still cute. like 16 degrees or something. So I know, it's really not that cold. But I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> and there's quite a strong wind. I'm really pleased I have my sheets. You look great. What are you wearing underneath it? Let me show you. Boobs. Bikini! <laughs> such a boy. Ooh, okay. Still so oh, can't God. do this thing without looking at the screen. It's Fine. the lens. It's, Hello. It looks real nice I when you look vlogging. at the screen. No, it looks good when you look at the screen. Why? It's too intense when you stare at the camera. Because I'm such deep in my eyes. <laughs> I want to film the sunset now. We are back at our accommodation now. We've just gotten ready to go out for dinner and I think we're going to go to a little Italian place that a subscriber recommended on Instagram, which is very cool. So what I'm wearing tonight is my Forever New 
dress, which is very autumnal and suitable for this. And I've got my little spotting tights and just my brown boots because I didn't really pack. Probably. Here's the side of you. Sure. They look a little funny, but they kind of make it. Um, I like the dress. Thanks. I didn't bring any like black heels, so I just failed a bit on the shoe front. But yes, let's go. I'm hungry. Bye. Bye. See you there. Kids are very romantic in the background. <laughs> Day. It is windy and cold. I don't think the jetty is going to be any good. I don't even know if you'll hear this. It's probably going to be too. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go out. I love all the Norfolk Island pines around here. It's the best part. We came, we saw, we left. <laughs> On a coffee. Okay. Found a little stuffed corker. Alex won't let me get it. So we're back in Frio now. It's around lunchtime. We're going to go to Bib and Tucker for lunch, which we went to last time. I was here in Perth and it was amazing. And I really want their pumpkin gnocchi again <gasps> with sage. This is what I want. Definitely not as sad to be leaving you as last time. Did you come home so soon? Bye bye dear. <laughs> Back to Melbs. I'll see you very soon. Ten days or something, right? Ten days. That's crazy. So I just got home. It is 1 a.m. It's about an hour later than I expected because our flight took a lot longer. We didn't end up having a tailwind like they'd predicted. So sad days. My luggage broke. Funny thing is I was just saying to Alex on this trip about how I need a new suitcase for the UK anyway because I want a big one. This is like only a medium size and I was like I need a like a large case. So I mean I'm a bit gutted this broke because otherwise it's still got so much life in it. But I think I'm going to replace this one yet. I'm just going to go and buy a large case as I was going to anyway and I'll just have to get rid of this one. There's so much good left in the case but that's unrepairable. Good morning guys, it is Thursday the 7th of June. I woke up like mid-morning and kind of took my time getting ready and I've been like writing a list of things I want to get done today. I want to go for a walk to get some exercise but it's really cold, like it'll be very pleasant. I need to do, I need to buy some groceries I haven't eaten yet because there's just no food in my house really. I ate it all up before I went. I just have a bunch of like getting my life together, organisation things. I have to do when I get home <laughs> and I have to practice desperately. And so since you are spending like 40 bucks on this, it's nice to be able to pick and choose some of the products you get. Got Fit Fun is recommending to use this spray to help with that hydration throughout the day. So it is nearly 4.30. I've just finished doing a little bit of meal prep. I went out and got groceries earlier today and yeah, I thought I'd come home and make two different dishes that would make me like 10 meals basically to get me through until Alex gets back. I'm making this Mexican chili which I can do like taco bowls or nachos and things with and I also have a vegetable soup that's brewing in there and I've just made myself some crackers and cheese to nibble on because I haven't really eaten that much. I'm kind of hungry. And another thing I did today which is very very exciting I bought a soda stream. So this is a little machine that basically carbonates your water because you guys know that I love my soda and lime and I probably go through about four bottles of those like you know store-bought soda waters a week it makes me kind of sick to my stomach because i know that recycling in australia is not what is promised it's difficult to know whether the effort we go to to rinse everything out and recycle it is actually worth it and i just want to cut back on my plastic in general so i went and got one it was like 99 dollars at big w and i'm gonna try it out for the first time i've just had my bottle in the fridge cooling and i'm gonna stick it in and try it out Look 
at that. It didn't look very fizzy in the bottle. I thought it wasn't working, but it totally did. Ah, oh, sweet, sweet carbonation. Hello everyone. So it's actually about a week later. Basically forgot to wrap this vlog up last week. I really felt like I'd needed the weekend off of vlogging. So I just thought, oh, it's fine. I'll like have a few days off and then I'll do a little bit to round this off. And then Monday hit and I started my new vlog. <laughs> So I've actually already underway with this week's vlog. I thought I'd better pop in and just say thank you so much for watching. I know that my videos are all a little bit delayed. Like normally my vlog comes out on sort of like a Monday, Tuesday. I know it's like nearly the weekend. It's been a bit of a crazy time for me. Alex gets back in a couple of days. And as you'll see from next week's vlog, I've been quite busy getting a lot of little projects done around the house. Like making sure that everything's ready for him. I wanted to sort of reorganize the closet to make sure that his clothes and stuff would fit in nicely. And there's been heaps of things I've been doing, reorganizing my makeup. I'm trying to pre-film for while I'm away. I'm trying to get all of that done before next week because we've got heaps of rehearsals. And because I went to Perth, it just delayed everything. Perth internet is terrible. Trying to get videos uploaded over there was difficult. I don't even know if I was in focus that whole time because my autofocus is a bit crazy at night time when there's not much light. But anyway, a small update aside, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog nonetheless. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.